I need to learn about the bro code. As I want to be one of the bros, I got to make more notes about this. So I got my notebook. Got my notebook right here. If you can hear this, this is actual paper. Paper right here. So we shall be learning today. We, sh we, we shall be learning. The bro code. Uh, what, what are the specifics of it? What are we really talking about? But before we get into that, Bros I'd before like to host. thank the sponsor for today's class, Atlas hey, VPN. What is a VPN and why do I need one? Atlas <laughs> VPN away. is a virtual private network that makes all of your internet traffic travel through yeah. an encrypted tunnel. What this encrypted tunnel does what is, is that even supposed to depict? What, what is this supposed to depict? The what fuck? exactly? Spying, public Wi-Fi dangers, and it the hides globe? your IP address and online activities from prying eyes. Atlas VPN is holding a huge discount. You can get a three-year subscription for only a dollar ninety-nine a month with Yo, a thirty-day money-back guarantee. Students, you can get this deal by clicking the link down below in the description. That's get.atlasvpn.com/slash. Professor Lando, here's you. And here is Me? a show that you want to stream on a platform like Netflix, for example. But unfortunately, yeah. you can't watch that show yeah. because it is geo-restricted, making you very sad. But luckily, you can work? use Atlas VPN to bypass these geo-restrictions By to watch your shows, I think they making to... you not sad. Like, I think they tried to work against that. Bad, but I'm very not sure if it still works. Happy. With over six million users worldwide, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet more accessible and secure for everyone. That's a three-year subscription for only $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Access the internet yeah, safely and securely. And thank you again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's lecture. There are many instances throughout mm -hmm. history. Many times languages come and go much like technology. The pyramids, yeah. how did they build the pyramids? Perhaps they have oh. much more advanced technology than we were led to believe and that those technologies were lost. And much is the case with the bro code. Very simply put, you could say the bro code is a friendship etiquette mm. to be followed among men or more specifically among members of the bro subculture. So bro code, um, bros before hoes, obviously. Um, downward not is um, acknowledgement. Upward not is like, like the kind of what's up. Like downward is like hi or something like this kind of thing. Um, what else? Uh, um. You always leave one spot free in between urinals. <laughs> uh, Before yeah. we get into the specifics of the bro code, it's time for a pop quiz. What we have here is a diagram of three ah, here we go. urinals side by side. And in this situation, we have urinal A, urinal B, and urinal C. Let's say that you yeah. uh, are in need of alleviating yourself uh, with yeah. fluids. You need to take a piss. You enter the bathroom and there is mm -hmm. a man at urinal A. Another man occupying urinal you C. You wait. Uh, the you wait I for them to finish. Is, you so wait. So you walk in, you need to take a piss. You and wait. And you have three options here. To this question, do you A, wait for one of these men to leave and take their spot? B, Take the middle urinal, urinal B, in between the two men. Or C, piss yourself where you're standing. <laughs> this is a little subversive, uh, but I... I... <laughs> C sounds so reasonable. I'll explain to you why uh, that the answer is... <laughs> Dominance and piss up the urinal A. <laughs> piss on to bro C. To take one of these men's spots and not to go into the middle urinal. You would... Um, I would expect most people to say that I will be taking urinal B as an act of dominance to assert myself. I'm confident in myself. I do not feel um, uh, the need to shy away uh, from, the, from the gazes of A and C on either side of me. What I would like to present that it's not about you. It's not that it's about I them. feel comfortable pissing 
in the middle them. stall. It's about them. It's the Broncos. But it's about looking out for our fellow man. I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. And that is actually the true um, act of dominance. Because what is more dominant, what is more alpha than being a leader and looking out for one another? That, that right. is a good point you bring He's up, that right. there are in fact dividers. Let me ask you this. Have, haven't you noticed that when you, when you go to these public restrooms, sometimes these, these dividers... They're not high enough. They're not high enough. Too short. So you can like Almost take a like peek. like they like, were purposefully mm -hmm. designed mm -hmm. that way by some kinky mm -hmm. fucking... Just a little, <laughs> just enough for you to get a little bit of a... Whoop. <laughs> or they don't come out far enough, right? Maybe they're tall enough this way. It doesn't come out far enough so that if you were to be completely hidden behind the divider, your balls would have to touch mm. the wall of the urinal. Ew. It's a little suspicious. And I, I, I really do have to question the intent of the urinal divider designer. It seems like they want you to just be... Just, it's true. Just like, Ew. You, ever, you ever watch what is that old Tim Allen uh, Home Improvement? Was it called Home? You know the the neighbor. It's like that kind of. <laughs> what are you peeking at? Mm -hmm. This pop quiz was mm -hmm. an introduction to the bro code. The first rule of my bro code: no middle urinal uh, users. Um, we're, we're just gonna move okay, quickly okay. Uh, over this next. I knew this one. Good. Good. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Oh. Just don't be that guy, man. Just. <laughs> Come don't on, be that guy. don't be that guy. Yeah. We all know that guy. Yeah. You know that yeah. guy. We all have... We, you don't want to be that, that guy. guy. You're going to be that guy right yeah. now? Right here? There's other people here, Yeah, don't man. be that guy, Rule man. number three of the bro code, moving on, is in regards to uh, J.O. crystals. What is Wait, what? A, a, a J.O. crystal? Well, the uh, I guess uh, the rule, uh, you might say, is that, is that every bro uh, that is a member of the bro code who is a follower of the bro code uh, must be given a J.O. crystal much? and must appropriately use and be informed of their Wait, hold up. J.O. crystal. Wait. A J.O. crystal Wait, is what? Uh, usually worn as a necklace. Uh, you can see the crystal right here uh, at the end. When hold worn up. by adjacent bros, these J.O. crystals contain an essence that can be recharged by what? We must tell us of me spilling the beans. J-O-ing or jacking off by uh, jack oh. it next to one another. You can charge these crystals up and uh, these crystals, uh, you know, you might ask like, what is the purpose? Well, uh, the J-O crystals can give confidence at work, home, or in other social settings. J-O crystals. Number four in the bro code uh, will be to serve the Lord. There's a very misunderstood a trait of Adam many Diego? bros out there. Very, very, and what, what are we talking about? And uh, what I'm talking about is people, women, learning so much today. Learning so much. When a guy much. punches their wall. <clears throat> I am uh, like, I really don't know. I I really think that's more of an American thing than a European thing because I said. We have concrete walls here, and you guys have paper walls, so it would be easier to punch a wall. If you would try to punch a, f a wall in Europe out of fucking rage, you'd break your fucking fist. Mm. The wall punching, leaving often uh, uh, a hole in the wall. I think you, I don't know why I'm drawing it, I'm pretty sure you know what a hole looks like. <laughs> you might be asking, how is that related to men p punching holes in their wall? No, you I might, need a little this demonstration. This is not deflection, this is the... Are we are we going into glory holes now? Like, what is going on? Where are we going with Truth. this? Wall punching may be seen as a brutish display of, of, of toxicity, of anger uh, by some, but uh, uh, the secret actually here, bros, boys are uh, uh, actually equipped with a sort of sixth sense. Ghost vision. As servants of the Lord, men yeah. are tasked with ridding the world of these evil spirits that that often they're crawling on the walls. Have you seen Hereditary? When the mom is like this and she's like <laughs> climbing on the walls and you know, women, girls, you can't see women. It, but that's what we're trying to, we're trying to get them, we're trying to get them. Ah, ah, it makes sense. Wing Thor, thanks for the follow. Now it makes sense. It's I, not see. Okay, it's I not see. Being, I see. I'm angry. You know, I see. in fact, we, we pretend to be angry in order to 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 hide the truth of our order, of our mission of to serve the Lord. 
Um, our fists are lined with holy energy, lined, charged by the J.O. crystal. You can see how it's related. Our fists are it lined makes with so holy much energy, sense. burning spirit. That's about it for uh, the bro code section of this lecture. Wait, we're we talking about the stages of brodom right now. Stage what one. What about bros before you, hoes? You're out somewhere, right? You go to the local, uh, whatever. What, what do bros do? You go to a bar. You're in. Hey, hey, I, I saw you had a My Hero Academia patch on your backpack. That's pretty cool. I, I like <laughs> anime too. And then yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You meet and you become yeah. what? Bros. Acquaintance. Oh. Number two is what's up, dude? What's up, what's up, dude? You don't know his name yet. You just, uh, dude. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up, dude? You walk what's up and you give him the, you know, give him the good what's old. Up? What's this? It's, it's not. What's it's, it's, it's we're beyond high what's five. What's up? It's more than a handshake. It's so, like a handshake. You know, kind of like. Oh yeah. Like, no, 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 like where they do, yeah, no, where, up, where they do this. Number three <laughs> is just yo. Enthusiasm has gone down markedly. This might be counterintuitive, <laughs> but I believe yo. that the more you know someone, yep. the less enthused the initial greeting is. Every time you see yep. a new friend, it's very like, yo, what? what's up, dude? You know, dap them up. Three is true friendship. At this point, huh? you're very comfortable huh. with one yo, another. Kids. You don't need to play yo. it up, <laughs> right? And, you know, let's yes, not mistake it. It's follow. not because you're Jeez. bored of each other. Uh, sorry, right? This isn't some listless marriage that's gone for for years and you just you just you know you sleep with the pillow in between you and you know, Most you of better be not what not. <laughs> in, in months um this is just you you very much care for one yo. another but you're just not needing yo. to play it up it's just yo with my very best friends when you see each other you don't shake each other's hands yeah you don't go, what's that, up man uh, yeah that's you don't weird do those that. are what for the, the people that aren't why would you do that like they're your friends yes they're definitely your friends but they're not like really your friends because yeah. you like you really like your friends. You don't go yo, uh -huh. what's up? That's weird. You just go yo, right? You don't yo. you don't shake the hand. You don't dap them up. Yep. It's just like yo, what's going on? What are we doing today? Yo, what's up? Four. This is where you could sit in silence, silence and have it not be awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just in a Discord call and there's just silence going on. You're both just doing your own thing. Both are just uh, playing different games, and sometimes you're just like, hey, 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 I just saw this. Wanna see this meme? Ha ha ha. Yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, you go. Ha, funny. Okay, and uh, back to silence. Five is when they're charging the J.O. crystals next to each other. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the concept bros before hoes. Oh, yeah! Um, so, historically, the bro code has included the need to hold fellow men um, artificially somehow above romantic interests and uh, historically speaking women, namely women, but in recent times with the advent of uh, new technology um, mm -hmm. such as femboys, um, mm -hmm. might I suggest mm -hmm. that instead of bros before hoes, in my interpretation of the bro code, the yeah. bros are the hoes. <gasps> Ayo, hmm. hey, he's, he's got a point, the bros are hoes. Mm -hmm. We're killing two birds with one stone. Uh, really, it's just a matter of listen, men, men, <laughs> men, guys. Am I right? We're talking about efficiency. We're only me we're only worried about the numbers. Okay, we're efficient. We're optimal. We're, we Let need to cook. keep things going. We need to keep the tribe fed. You know, we're not worried about emotions. Okay, we need to get things done. Homoeroticism. A motto Wait, what? What? No. between bros is what? It's not gay balls? it's the balls don't touch. I thought it's okay if you wear socks. Hold on. Why? What is at the, what's at the core here? What are we talking about exactly? Hypothetical situation here. Is it gayer to kiss a man than it is to penetrate him? Chad? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about that one, Chad? <laughs> no comment. And I would say yes. Why? And uh, Wait. we'll get around to how that connects. Wait, which and one? I would say kiss a man, then it is to penetrate him. 
And I would say, yes, why? And uh, we'll get around to how that connects here in a second. Um, but in this hypothetical, let's just say, penetration yeah. is an act of dominance. A man's hole is not meant to be bred, making it the ultimate display of heterosexuality. Uh, again, to penetrate another male, uh, another man, another bro, just another one of the homies. Um, but to passionately kiss a man, that is markedly more gay in my opinion. Why? It is a more engaged and uh, more involved act of romanticism. Uh, when it comes to, you know, when it, when it comes to fapping, I could fap to literally anything. Sometimes it's not even a sexual thing. I could just, you know, I could just... Chat, is this true? <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> but the intimacy of a deep kiss, much more weight, many more consequences than just <laughs> penetration. Kinda, you yes. know, for example, let's <laughs> just uh, let's just say you wake up, right? You know, you're in college or, or something. You know, those frat parties, man, get pretty wild. You know, you wake up, your homie's there, uh, and you're yeah. like, oh, what, what happened last night? And you remember, whoopsie, uh oh, maybe a little bit of penetration uh, occurred, uh, whoopsie, but you know what, lol, oopsie, XD, oopsie. Uh, it's well, all good, bro. You know, and that, it's all good. good. You, know, you look at each other and you're like, wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. Laugh track, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. But if you compare that with the scenario, stare into each other's eyes, feel the breath, graze Honestly, each other's skin as your eyelashes <laughs> dance against each other's sun kiss he's, he's, he's got a point. You know, that's just that's just way more gay. <laughs> he's got a point though, chat. He's got a point. I learned so much today. Thank you, Professor Landon. Thanks for the lesson. Always appreciate them. Always appreciate them. I can't wait to graduate like my university.